You may be surprised how much math and physics go into amusement park rides, and more specifically, roller coasters! Common roller coasters don't have an engine, so something has to keep it moving through its fun and intense track. The key to making a roller coaster move is energy. Well, the roller coaster uses a motor to get to the top of the hill. And in the process, it is storing energy for later use, which is called potential energy. Then, you finally get to the top of the hill and gravity pulls you down the track, which increases your acceleration and velocity. This turns the potential energy to kinetic energy. Kinetic is energy that is being used or energy that is caused by motion. The roller coaster goes faster with the more kinetic energy being used, which is why the car gets faster towards the bottom of the hill. The change between kinetic energy and potential energy changes throughout the ride. Eventually, the energy turns to friction from wind, the rolling of the wheels, and the brakes on the track. So you can blame friction for stopping the speed and enjoyment of your next roller coaster ride.